Jambalaya pasta, let's go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I've already washed and cleaned my chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, you only need like a pound, pound and a half, right? You know what I mean? I can do it two ways. I'm gonna do it one way for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it down like this, just really through the middle. Don't have to be all that, you know, perfect or fancy. See that, I got a half there. You know, probably the best way, or you can just take it, you know what I mean? Uh, we could just start making some cuts, you know, like this. Most of your pieces, you want them to be like the same size. Reason being, so when they one ready, they all ready. As always, and even if you're new, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below, right? So look, I went ahead and cleaned up everything. If you guys look, I'm big on this. You guys gotta pay attention to this. Look, I wash and clean as I go. That's the way we wanna do it. You can see I got my board right here that I do my chicken on. I've already washed, letting that dry. Now back over here. Now we wanna go ahead and just do a little seasoning, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get me a couple of pinches. If I start sneezing, forgive me. You know how they say, if you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. This is true. And this right here is good. This that Creole kick, folks. This is what we doing. I went ahead, got myself like a little medium flame, right? I already got my pan nice and warm. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and add some olive oil in here. You know what I mean? Just to get it going. This is infused olive oil, by the way. You guys can use regular. If you don't have the olive oil, you know cooking oil works just fine, vegetable or canola. Now, this has already been soaking. This chicken is starting to absorb the flavor, you know? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these, get these over on this side, you know, start cooking this down. Once I got everything cooked, then we're gonna go ahead and just take these out, right? Then we're gonna go ahead and start doing our shrimp. You know, this is real easy, you guys. You're looking for something to make, especially on the weekday. You know what I mean? Uh, you just want to get something out, turn something out that's good too. Uh, you got, you might want to check this out. And don't forget that pasta is inexpensive and it's very, very filling. Okay, so once your chicken is done, you know what I mean? Uh, you guys get a chance to see the bite sizes that I had done, right? You can cut them down even smaller than this. They'll be ready even faster. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add everything in here, juices and all. A lot of times what I do is I peel these, you know, the tails. These already been, you know, deveined and all of that, right? I can do this and just leave them like that. It's up to you guys how you want to do it but I like to have sometime have a handle on there. And because I don't make a whole lot of videos doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. I probably should have put some of this Creole kick on here already, you know what I mean? And uh, just work with it, you know, before, because one thing about shrimp, you know what I mean? It's really, really absorbent and fleshy, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just add just a little bit more, you know, olive oil, right? Bring that up. This is nice and hot. You guys might not be able to see it, but that's fine in there right now. You know, we got a lot of that chicken, that Creole, you know, seasoning, it's down in there. You can see it on the sides over here, but we gonna get all of that up and there's some down there. I can hear it popping, so I know it's ready. Right? So now we are gonna get this going. Remember, this is shrimp. You don't want to overcook it. You don't want that rubbery, you know, taste. You want to be able to bite it and melt in his mouth, in your mouth, you know? So that's what we're looking for right now. So I could just look at the shrimp and tell. You see how immediately when you put it in there, it starts getting some heat, it contracts and starts to turn into a ball. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're going to multitask. And I'm going to go ahead and break out my andouille. Now that's up to you how you guys want to do it, right? I'm going to go ahead and cut these off like this. I'm just saying, you can introduce them, you know, like this which is fine just make sure you cut them the same thickness let's look at this shrimp oh it smells good i can feel the texture you know through my tongs you know so now i'm gonna take these if you guys take a look right over here turn this fire off for one second i'm gonna take this i got it it's got the chicken and the juice and all of that we finna put it in here just like this folks and these right here is ready so now look Got my, I put a little bit more olive oil in there just to get everything, you know, going. Now we're just going to go ahead and add this. Let's do it this way, folks, so it don't take all day. 
Now I'll just move this around, let a little olive oil get on there, get everything nice and hot, and let some of this in dewy release some of its flavors in here too. You know what I mean? And then we'll put a nice little, some of these I have a little cover on them. You know what I mean? But mostly we want to leave some of this inside of this pan. You know what I mean? We're looking to put a little uh, fine in here. This is what I mean when you want to put a little, little flavor, a little color in there. If you can see that right there, you see that right there? That's what you want to have, right? Then if you guys take a look, it left a lot of, you know, color down there in that olive oil and them oils. That's all from that andouille, right? So I'm not finna pour none of that out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my tongs, give it a little, cause we wanna leave that inside of there. So I'm just gonna add it right here. Let me get all of this out. And you know what we finna do next, folks. We always start with what? The onions. Look at the color. You see that right there? The fine is starting to take over all of the olive oil and all of the, the juices and oils from the andouille. Everything is just right, right? So what we doing is we building layers of flavor, right? So now we'll go with our onions. I always give my onions a head start. You know what I mean? Uh, most people, when they do them, they like to do them and get them all, how can I say it? They like to just put them all in there together. That's just not me. This is what I like. Now, since I put that in there and the, you know the onions was obviously on the whitish color, right? Look at that right there. You see that flavor? Well, we gonna sweat this down too. The yellow bell peppers and now the green bell peppers. Okay, so look, now I'm getting ready to go ahead and, you know, put a smile on my face, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my garlic press. Let me get all of these in here. I got one nice big clove. Get it right here. I hope you guys can see it. Look, look at that right there. Oh yeah, fresh minced garlic. Whew. Gets fragrant right off of the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my tomatoes. You know what I mean? Just get a little bit of this flavor, let everything marinate, you know, and marry together. Look at that right there, folks. Now I already made my pasta. You guys make it, you know, you wanna do it, follow the instructions on whatever brand that you bought. You wanna do it al dente, that's already done. It's behind me on the stove. It's been done. I probably should have said that from the very, very beginning. I wanna go ahead and add everything but my shrimp, right? No worries. You know what I mean? Uh, we just wanna get it in here. It's okay. I know some of you guys looking at me working with my hands. Uh, I suggest you do it also. Look, it makes it just a little bit more on the personal side. And guess what, folks? I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there. You know what I mean? Oh, don't look at that shrimp trying to jump in. No, sir. I'm gonna put about eight ounces of my tomato sauce in here, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and add it. It's about, this is a half a can for me. You know, so we'll just add that. I'm gonna come with my chili flakes. You guys can use uh, cayenne too if you don't have chili flakes. I'm gonna add the rest of my seasoning, but don't forget we're doing jambalaya, right? So this Creole seasoning right here is it right here. Now we're gonna just go ahead and let this marry. You know what I mean? Look at this right here. And we wanna heat it all up. I just don't want to have a high concentrate, you know, of the seasoning all on one side. I like to get it in here. Then I'm gonna add it on, you know, to the next. But you see that right there? That's what you want, folks. All right, so as I let this heat up or whatever, you know what I mean, uh, that's what we want. I'm just making a little room so I can get my little bay leaf so it can get a little, a little bit of a bath, right? So we'll let that sit there and let that heat up and start putting this flavor on there. Everybody bringing something to the party, right? So, you know we gotta, you know, speaking of bringing something to the party, you know if you've been following me for a minute, you know we gotta have this. I haven't even taken a taste yet. My mouth is already watering. You know why? Cause I know what we working with. Cause guess what? I built it, folks. You see that right there? That's what you want to see. It's starting to heat up, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and just give it two pinches of that salt. And that's kosher salt, by the way, coarse ground. You know what I mean? Now I'm going to go ahead and just work this back. You know, work this around. Now anytime I get ready, which should be really about now, I probably need to go ahead and get my, you know, my silicone spatula. But now we're going to go ahead and just add our broth. You know what I mean? Uh, look at this right here. And then we're going to cook this down too. Right? That bay leaf, look. Bay leaf was looking for this right here. Now I wanna bring this up to a simmer. But you guys got the gist of it. This is what we wanna do, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna leave it alone, I'm gonna let that fire do its thing. I'm gonna wash some of these dishes and we finna get ready. 
It needs nothing else. When I tell you it's ready, it's ready. You want one of the better tasting uh, jambalayas? Hey, it's gonna be the best because you made it at home too. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and just add my shrimp. I'm gonna let this stand here for about two or three minutes. Nah, one to two minutes to be honest with you because we wanted to, you know, just really to heat up. We don't want to do no real cooking, you know, because we got the texture the way we want it. But if you look at this right here, look at that one. Now, any of y'all want to come on in here and pick up a bowl, you know, you just let me know. AB's kitchen is open. It's been right at two minutes. I know this is ready to go. I know them shrimp is nice and hot. Everything is, hey, y'all feel like I'm over talking. Now we're getting ready to go ahead and add this fettuccine, you know, here. Now look, when I went to the store, check this out. They only had like gluten-free or something like that. You know what, it's pasta, folks. You guys do whatever you want to do. You know, use whatever you want to use, you know? So for me, I'm just gonna add it and just, you know, get it going like this. And I'm gonna cook it in here too. A little bit at a time, cause you want to get it all coated. You don't want to have too much noodle. You know what I mean? Too much pasta. It's gonna come out great, right? By you putting in a little bit at a time, that helps you, you know what I mean? Cause you don't want to, like I say, you don't want too much pasta. Just gonna go ahead and put some in here. And I want you guys to just notice this. Look, I'm just picking it right off at the top. This is what I like right here. You can see shrimp on top and dewy. I see chicken. You know, I can see the pasta. I can even see the, you know, the parsley, everything. Look, this is a nice mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and just add one more thing like that on top. Why? Cause check it out folks, I'm greedy. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna hold up, get some andouille. Let's do it like this. You know what I mean? Let's get some chicken. No, we are gonna go andouille. Got pasta and chicken. Cheers y'all. Some of y'all gonna get mad because I didn't go ahead and take the tails off. I might have been a little bit on the lazy side. When you watch all my other videos, you're probably trying to figure out why he leave them on this one. But I feel like when I make something and it's this good, you won't mind taking the handle off. Mm. I don't know if you could tell, but look, I'd have knocked off a little bit more. You know, with everybody telling me, hey, just wrap it up, folks. Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Look, I wanna give you guys one thing. Uh, what I did right now, let me get off camera. Let me just grab this for you. I saved myself some pasta water, which I should have said from the very beginning, right? So let's just say you put too much pasta in there and it absorbs everything and you need to loosen it up a little bit. Always save yourself like a half a cup. I got it, this is extreme, you know what I mean? I just filled up my little Pyrex or whatever. But you can always add that on. Look, it helps out. That starchy water it helps everything adhere, you know, to your pasta noodles and all of that. Hey, super simple. That's a pro tip, save that and uh, let's move forward. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, I know I really didn't give no whole lot of like how this is. All I can tell you is it's fire and I'm out. Peace.